Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz with 0 seconds increment on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get here. And got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup, which starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4. And then we can play e3. So it's important to take out this bishop before closing its diagonal. So now we can proceed with the knight on f3. Just Fian carries his bishop there. Um, okay, let's play solid c3. Develops the knight. We can also develop the knight now on d2. The light square bishop comes on d3. Queen comes on d2 in most cases. Um, he has played c4 here. c5 actually. Uh, can I take? If I let him proceed, then that's problem for my bishop. I have to retrieve it. But if I take, he comes with the knight. So let's let's just de develop our pieces better. Queen to c2. Yes, he crosses. We'll bring back the bishop. And the ideas are pretty simple from here. I'll try to exchange stuff. Try to get rid of the spawn as soon as possible. The knight can only take bishop at max and we can just take it back. And open up the h file for the attack. And he doesn't. So... I can play pawn forward, asking him to take if he wants to, so that I can take back with the pawn. He proceeds with the pawn there. Okay, let's take here. Yeah, he takes. Let's get the rook here on the open file. I'm okay doing a rook lift as well. And then we can attack the pawn too at some point of time. He probably realizes that. And plays bishop. I'll just... Uh, do I need to play that? I'd rather let him come. Okay, let's go here with the queen. The idea is to take on the pawn sometime. If he's not careful, so he goes back. So he wasted a couple of moves there. And what we can do next is go here. Just trying to take on the pawn, maybe. If he plays pawn forward, what are we doing? Go in the knight, maybe. In the middle. Oh. He tries to attack the queen there. I can take on this pawn. That's annoying me. I'll get rid of c4 as well now. So we gave a free pawn there, probably. If he moves the rook, uh, no, that's guard with the queen, so I have to be careful. You can take this with bishop as well, or knight, or queen. Three pieces attacking the pawn. Okay, he's offering queen for exchange there. Do I need to take it? I can take it and simplify stuff. Let's take. He takes. I can take with the knight here. The idea is after he takes, I take with the bishop. If he doesn't take, then I can t go with the knight anywhere and that's discover attack on the rook. So he has to take. He takes. The bishop is nice, active, controlling some stuff. King attacks the bishop now. I'll lose this pawn eventually in the process. Is there a way to save both? Probably not. Let's get back here. And then castle. Oh, he takes the bishop first, which is fine. I can castle here.
Yeah, let's cast it. Goes down, probably. He doesn't. Okay, attacks the rook instead. Can go for rook exchange. I don't mind exchanging the rooks. Okay. I have to take here. Can I place pawn forward? The idea is to plant the bishop there. Yep. Gives me opportunity to do that. Now we can exchange bishops. Yep, that's what's happening. Takes, takes. And I defend the pawn for now. I need to take on this pawn now, and I have got a knight. And that should be helpful. He has got dark square bishop, so the pawn is safe. I have to push on my pawns to the light squares there. That's going to be important. Let's start with attacking the rook. If I go there, then he, of course, takes with the bishop. That was the problem, so I didn't want to uh, trade. Ah, but my knight is pretty inactive otherwise as well. Let's go back. Shall I trade? Shall I trade? I don't want to actually for now. Can I push the pawn forward? Uh, gets weakened up only. Nothing more than that. Just play g4 there. Okay, he's preventing me from playing that as well. Let's play pawn forward. I'll just try to come with my king over here. Could have taken king in the center as well, maybe. Yeah, that's done. If he plays forward, I go here with the knight. So that's fine. Give the check. I don't want to waste my moves there. I go up. Okay, now he goes there. I go here. Here, here. What's better? How can we take one of these pawns? He comes back. Let's go here. Oh, this looks fine. Oh, it's trapping my knight. Uh, probably not. I can come back. He, he takes with the bishop, maybe. Yep. I take back. Okay, he's attacking the pawn now. Maybe I'll, that was not the right move there. Let's go here. He takes equal pawns now. Need to take the pawn first. I can take this or threaten the rook first. Let's take. Okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna move this as well. Let's see where he takes the rook. Okay, there. I try to stop him as well. From coming anywhere close to a pawn, I attack the rook again. Okay, he goes there. I go back. Okay, I can still go. Ah, this is nice. Got the rook there. Go here, take this. This should be winning. Okay, I have to save my pawn. Yep, saved. Uh, go up maybe. Uh, yeah. I could have taken them. Go here. 
go here and go up. Yep, not spinning. Queen, staircase technique. Checkmate in two. Phew, we did it. On time. Precise moves at the end. Just hit the staircase, lovely staircase. That helps you do quick checkmates. And remember that the rook has to be in front, not the queen. Otherwise, it doesn't work. That's how you checkmate in time. That was a close one. He played nice. The open was also fighting it nice, trying to push his pawns forward. But then that pawn move was critical, which he lost the rook with. Let's quickly analyze the game and see how it went from the computer perspective as well. So that we can improve a few stuff maybe in the next time when we play. Side off with d4, the London system setup. He responds with d5. Play bishop to f4, open place knight to f6, pawn e3 there, then g6, and knight to f3. So both are doing their own setups. Uh, he's probably playing the king's Indian kind of uh, setup there. I'm playing the London system. And then, where uh, we go, pawn to c3, he develops the knight there on d7, I get the knight on d2, he castles, I play bishop on d3. Play c5 there, I didn't capture, went with queen to c2 instead. He tries to push my bishop back, so I go back to e2. Gets his knight on h5, I go back on g3. Yes, he can take here, but I didn't, uh, I was okay to open up the h file. He proceeds with b5, I play b3 instead. He proceeds with a5 further, I take on the pawn, he takes back. I get the rook on the empty file, on the open file, rook to b1. He gets his bishop on a6, which was bad move, because after I go on a4, he has to now move his bishop back to save the pawn. Then I find the right square with the queen, which was c6. So up till here, we were pretty good. And then he tries to threaten with the rook and lose the pawn there. That was weakening. Uh, and then he gets his, the knight to attack the queen. So I took on the queen here, exchanging the stuff, which is always nice. And it, oh, I had a good move there. I missed the bishop move. It was 5.1. That's why I was wondering why it is such a nice uh, advantage to white. Because after I get the bishop, he's losing on a, on a piece at least. Because after he goes here, he cannot, he can't even go here. He loses the rook otherwise. If he go anyways else, you are just going to take on the rook. And after he takes, if he does, we take on. So that was completely losing for black there. I missed that move, to be fair enough. Uh, he takes on the knight then, after I plays the knight. I take back with the bishop, try to play solid, uh, then get back my bishop there. He takes, what was the best move in this situation after he plays rook? Oh, knight back and defend your bishop, so that your bishop remains active. But here I place bishop back, which loses the activity of bishop, that's why the advantage is lost. He takes the knight, I take back with the pawn. Um, he takes on the pawn there, as we saw, and I castle. Yeah, I was worried about the move of pawn, uh, rook to c2, as I mentioned in the game as well. Here I can lose my bishop, so that can be tricky. Um, what, what computer suggesting is go here, so that if he now takes, or you pin his bishop as well, so you will win the bishop back. Okay, that can be something which I can remember for next time onwards. He went with bishop uh, on to f5 there, and I play the rook to uh, c1 there. I try and exchange the rooks. He lines, I still take. He takes back. Then I play a4. That was nice to be done because I have to keep my pieces uh, protected because otherwise rook to uh, c2 loses either the bishop or the pawn. So had to just make sure that both of them are safe. And after he goes for the pawn there, I just plant my bishop on b5. But then he goes for bishop exchange. Uh, I can take or I can go back. I took on the bishop. He takes back. As you see, white is an advantage now. Um, the reason being the pawn structure is better. Rook is probably more active. And I've got a knight. And it's a fair kind of a position where actually... Is uh, dark square bishop is, isn't doing much, just standing over there in the corner. 
uh, and not even eyeing the king. So that's why knight is more advantageous here. I went with uh, rook to a1, protecting my pawn. He tries to get some play on the king's side. And meanwhile, I just tried to maneuver my knight. Goes back. I also had to go back here, no other option. Yes, I played g4 next. He goes with the pawn. I played g3. He offers a pawn, so I took it, takes back. And then I went with the king to g2. Uh, he tries to just come there, but yeah, as I said, my pawn uh, over here is on light square and his bishop isn't doing much uh, because my pawn here is solid. He goes to attack my knight. I go over there. And there I gave him my knight. That was probably not the right move. Uh, I should have not went with my knight uh, to give it away, rather to uh, f3 back. And what was he trying to do? If he plays bishop here, then what, what's our plan? To lose control of the pawn. But if he goes there, then what? Okay, you take his pawn and then the bishop will also be threatened. Okay, and after he says the bishop, I have to just control, go on to the side of the board with my knight, probably once his rook moves from here, and to grab this pawn as well. That was one way of playing, but I rather thought of preventing my own stuff than taking his there. And he takes, uh, I went with exchanging stuff. He takes, and then I go with king back. He takes the pawn. I go towards the rook, and I took on the pawn there. He takes back. Okay, again, I can go and grab other pawn there, but I took on this pawn first. He takes. I'm not uh, bothered too much about uh, his pawn there. I just played. I was trying to just control the ranks with my rook. That was the whole idea. So I went with a3. He pushes pawn forward. I place my king up, go back. And this was winning for black here because I had his king as, and rook uh, are pretty much in control of my pawn. Uh, this one cannot be uh, promoted because it's being blocked with the pawn there. And if my if I move my rook away, he can then promote his pawn forward by taking on this pawn uh, with his rook. So I just went back and here he did a mistake by moving the king towards the pawn. He had to be patient there and get his rook behind the pawn and then proceed because otherwise this is losing. I can take and he saw that I can take and tried to just save it with the pawn with the king in him king in, sorry and then I proceed with f3 and that folks uh, both the pieces so he has to lose the rook there and after he takes the pawn I go to h3 take on the pawn and then I just have to take my king to the other way so that I can just get a queen as well though it's not required I can just mate it with my rook and king there but I went with a uh, king towards the other side i can take on the pawn here but time pressure i didn't see that and i just wasted a couple of moves there and got the pawn eventually and then just planted my rook first on b4 that prevents the king from coming on the b file so he has to move away only or to uh, c5 but he cannot come on the b file and my rook will always be safe with the, with my king so that i can blindly now just promote to queen that's what happens in the game. I just move forward. And after I promote, it's very important to just checkmate in the right amount of time because I was uh, losing on out on time, as you saw. So I just had to make sure of using the staircase technique, not going anywhere else. So rook b6, queen a7, and rook b8. So nice staircase created. Uh, and we checkmate. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, then do like it on YouTube as well. Uh, do let me know in your comments, share feedback, always welcome. I am willing to improve further. And yeah, share it with your friends and do let me know uh, how you liked it. And thank you so much for watching it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Uh, that helps me keep motivated. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.